Here's my, uh, my uh, ND Miata 2016. So I'm doing a little quick review on the uh, various, I have the various, uh, the uh, diffuser, the rear diffuser. But also, look underneath, it's kind of hard to see. Look at my flashlight here. So I also have the various, uh, um, so there's the, here's the rear diffuser. Then in front of that, I have the rear suspension covers, right? Rear suspension covers. And once I put these on, uh, I don't know about aerodynamics or whatever, but you know, as an individual, I really can't test that, right? I mean, it's possible I could do like a, fuel mileage thing, but I don't think it's going to be that much of a difference. But what I do notice right away when I, after I put that on and I, uh, I drove was I noticed how, how much quieter the, uh, the car is, uh, uh, more specifically the exhaust. It was, uh, it was quieter. You know, I have the Goodwin racing, um, Goodwin racing, uh, exhaust. I forgot which, which model this is. Is this a Super Street or whichever one it is? I forgot. Uh, it's the one with the Hel Helms Homes. Is that what they call it? Helms Home or Homes Helms or whatever. Uh, thing of a bob in there. Single uh, tip exhaust with the little uh, insert right here. Right? You can see the insert. Uh, but once I put the diffuser and the rear suspension cover underneath, Boy, everything just got quieter. It's just, it's just less noise. It's like it wasn't, it wasn't just the uh, exhaust noise that was uh, less noise, but also road noise was a little bit less as well. Uh, actual road noise was a little bit less as well. So I was, so, so it really surprised me. I, I didn't realize that it would, you know, it would be quieter. And actually, I like it. It's, uh, it's uh, definitely quieter. Uh, basically, what's what it is? The sound, the sound is still there. But it just it's just less. It's like uh, it's kind of like uh, when you're talking to to someone, and uh, and there's like I don't know, there's sort of something in between you two, like maybe uh, maybe uh, like a door or something like that, or a window or whatever. You know, you still hear the person, but but the sound is much, it's just lower. You know, it's like it's like uh, it's not not muted. Um, the sound is like, uh, what, what, what do they call it? Uh, at, at, attenuated? Something like that? Anyways, it just sounds less. You know, it's like, it's like you turn the volume down on, on it. So, so that really surprised me. Um, the frequency difference also, I noticed, was slightly different. It was... Uh, I noticed uh, slightly less, uh, less uh, lower pitch frequencies uh also slightly a little bit of less higher pitch frequency as well i think i hear the mid-range frequencies uh better than i do the uh low frequencies and the high frequencies uh on on you know from the road noise and exhaust noise uh so that so that was a surprise um what else with it other thing is that you know i have the um I forgot what brand it was now, but the differential, you know how the differential on this car is, how it's mounted, you know, it's rubber mounted, but the mount has the little cut cutouts, cutaways, right, to, to give it a little bit more flex. I have those plugs that plugs that in. The thing that people complain about putting those plugs in is that it creates more noise, more vibration, and I actually noticed that. And, and that's, you know, at least the brand that I bought, I forget what brand it was. There was two versions. There was a softer version, for street use and a harder version for race race use, track use. I have the I have the softer version, the street use one. And after I put those on, uh and I have a video on that on how how to install that. After I put those on, I did notice more noise from you know from from putting that on. And the 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 way I noticed was my rev range, you know, my RPMs basically at two and a half thousand or below. That's when I noticed that noise, that that vibration. You know, it, it was like a lower, lower pitch, lower frequency vibration, probably in the, 
I would probably say in the, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, 150, 200 hertz range, somewhere around there. Probably about 200 hertz range uh, frequency. Uh, and you hear that more, that, 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 that noise more from the differential plug under load. Like, for example, if I'm at, if I'm two and a half or under, right, two and a half thousand RPM or under, if I'm just kind of cruising it, you know, at two and a half or under, you hear a little bit of that noise, but it's not that bad. But if I'm, I'm at two and a half thousand under, and let's say I'm, I'm going up a hill, it it would be. It would, it's, it's a lot more obvious. Or if I'm accelerating and, and I'm still you know, below the 2,500 RPM, you, you hear that differential noise. It's very obvious. Uh, it's kind of annoying, actually. Uh, it's not just the, 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 the sound, but also you can actually kind of feel the vibration as well. Uh, but with this wheel cover, excuse me, not the wheel cover, the suspension cover, and the, the, the diffuser in place, that's like almost completely gone. I, I barely noticed it at all. So, so I mean, it's like almost not there. You know, if 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 you know if someone didn't know any better, they they wouldn't notice notice that. They they wouldn't think there was a difference. Uh, so so that was that that was really surprising to me. Uh, so that noise and vibration, and not just the noise itself, but like the vibration itself is like it's all gone. Is I think what it is is whatever noise that's happening in, in underneath the car because of the covers are there instead of instead of bouncing out, you know, the sound, the sound bouncing out, it's actually staying in there. It's like, you know, it's like, it's a trap. So, so it just stays inside there. And that's, I, I think, I think that's the reason why the exhaust sound is that's less too, even though you have the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the exhaust gas is coming out from the, from the pipe itself. You look, you look inside in here and you, you know, you see it's all open here, but, but that, that, but not all the noise is coming most of the noise is coming, you know, a lot of the noise is coming out, out from the, uh, from the, uh, um, the exhaust pipe, the tailpipe, but a lot of noise is also coming out, you know, vibrating out from the, 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 uh, um, the system itself, the, uh, um, the, uh, you know, the, the muffler and the, the exhaust pipe itself. And and there's echoing in there as well. And so there you see the Helms home tube. Um, all that sound, it's basically it's staying inside. Uh, you know, inside it's being contained by by those covers. So so the sound itself is all bouncing around inside there, and, it's, and most of it's not escaping from under the car because it's because you know, the covers there. So it's like it's all quieter. So that so that really. Uh, so that really surprised me. So and actually, I really like it. So I'm not a big fan of, of you know of noise. These, um, you know, as, I, as I'm getting older, I don't like noise. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't really mind, but now that I'm older, I, you know, I, I do. I'm like, oh man, it, it kind of bothers me. Especially when you're tired, you know, you're fatigued, or you're you're you've been driving all day. You know, I'm on a, and like, if I go on a road trip, you know, on a road trip, I might be driving for twelve hours straight. Uh, so you know, t later on, they end up that twelve hours. You don't want to hear a bunch of noise, you know. You want to be a little more quiet, a bit more comfortable, and 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 sound noise does make you more fatigued. So when there's less noise, less you know, just less fatigue. Uh, so you're a little bit fresher. So so I like that. Um, so that was a really a big surprise on that. Uh, so that's the biggest thing, you know. Again, as far as how well the diffuser work and all the cover and how well the aerodynamics underneath the car goes. You know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I could do. Uh, I could do the next. The next time I do like a road trip, I could may, pay attention to my, you know, my 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 uh, fuel mileage. But that's that. I I think that's the the difference there is going to be very. You know, it's going to be marginal at best. Uh, I probably won't notice it. And and the, the reality is that the conditions, road conditions, and and weather conditions are uh, different every time. So you really can't do a, a really good comparison unless you're in a, uh, you know, unless you're in like a, uh, uh, some type of a wind tunnel or something like that, or something that's more controlled, something that's, you know, a track or something that's more controlled, basically. So that way the conditions is, is as constant as possible. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I like it. Uh, I, I thought it was worth it just, just for the, just for the, the sound savings. It's, it's the, the difference was, was significant.
So it wasn't just like a sp barely noticeable difference. I mean, it was like really noticeable. Uh, it was kind of like, uh, you know, if you watch my other videos, I have a bunch of uh, sound deadening. I put sound deadening material in here, you know, like Dynamat, you know, not, not the Dynamat brand or the different, a different brand. But I put it all inside the trunk. I put it along the, uh, along the uh, cover, you know, the, the, the wall between the, the trunk and the, the passenger compartment all along there. In the passenger side, in, in the, the door, I put in the doors in the uh, under the seat pan and everything, all that stuff. I put, I you know, I covered almost everything uh, that made noise. You know, because I actually went in there and actually physically knocked on each each panel and see if it were where it would echo and it would resonate and, and it made noise. And I would put a sound in and if I if I knocked on it and it was solid and it was it was like just solid and it didn't have any much noise that I left those spot alone but the spot where, where it was more more noisy where it's more you know boomy I put a uh, sound editing on that and the funny thing is I didn't do all those in one day I, you know, I did it so sort of like one day I did this part another day I did that part and each time I did that and I drove I noticed a little bit of a difference a little bit of difference a little bit of difference each time and all together uh, as a whole it, it, make, it made a significant difference you know it didn't you know, the car doesn't sound like it's like you're driving inside a tin can anymore. So the, so how, so how my how the the sound now with the, this with the sound deadening and also the uh, the undercovers, uh, it doesn't sound like a like a like a tin can. The reality is this car prior to doing all of that doesn't matter if the top is up or down. It sounds like you're driving in a tin can the whole time. You know, it, you could you could hear it. You know, it's very noticeable. But with all this stuff, it was it's just so much quieter. And so I really like that. Obviously, the wind noise is still there because of the rag top. You know, so you still have a bunch of wind noise from, from that because the rag top, you know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, block the wind noise very well compared to, say, a hard top. But as far as, like, road noise and, and all that, you know, all from the, from the uh, exhaust and the tires and all this other stuff, whatever uh, noise that goes, you know, there from the body and the resonation, uh, 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 what not resonation? Uh, resonance. All the resonance, all the stuff, you know, the the re reverb that you're hearing, all the reverb and all all of those different noises. Uh, it's like it's at a very minimum. So so it made a big difference in all of those things. So so I really like it. Really enjoy that. Um, I'm not sure what else I could do to make it, you know, a little bit quieter, a little bit more comfortable. You know, so so this car. The purpose of this car is not just, you know, some people are using this car as race cars or whatever. That's not per the purpose for, for this car for me. For me, this car is basically it's a GT car. You know, it's this grand touring car. You know, it's, this, it's, a, uh, it's a sport car that's, that's like I could take it on, on a road trip and enjoy driving. So, you know, which is basically it's grand touring, right? A GT car, basically. Uh, so, yeah, so that's that's my thought on the my, my latest... Uh, uh, latest uh, add-on of the various uh, underbody uh, uh, underbody uh, cover and rear diffuser. All right. Thanks for watching and listening.